All right, number 59, we're asked to solve. And we've been given radical p squared minus 3p plus 60 equals p plus 4. So we want to solve for p. And right now we have p on both sides of the equation, don't we? And here on the left side, p is trapped under this radical. So the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and square both sides so that we can get rid of this radical. So we'll square the left, square the right. And here on the left, the only thing that happens when we square is the radical goes away and we're left with whatever was originally under the radical sign. So p squared minus 3p plus 60 equals, now we have the binomial p plus 4 squared. What does it mean when we square something? Well, it means we have to write it out twice and FOIL, doesn't it? So p times p is going to give us p squared. p times 4 is going to give us 4p. 4 times p is going to give us plus 4p. When we combine these like terms, we're going to get plus 8p. And then lastly, 4 times 4 is going to give us plus 16. All right, so it looks like we have a quadratic equation here. But look what happens when we subtract p squared from both sides. Our p squared goes away and now we're just left with negative 3p plus 60 equals 8p plus 16. So just a basic uh, linear equation here which means let's go ahead and solve for p and we want to get p on one side and everything else on the other. So let's add 3p, add 3p. That'll leave us with 60 equals 11p plus 16. Here we'll subtract 16 from both sides. We'll go over here. And now we have, let's see, 60 minus 16, that's gonna be what, 44 equals 11p. We'll divide by 11, divide by 11, and so p equals four. All right, again, 59 is one of the problems that you can check to see whether or not your solution is correct, so let's take uh, our p equals 4 and plug it in and see what happens. So we get 4 squared minus 3 times 4 plus 60 equals 4 plus 4 is 8. So let's see. Here we're going to end up with radical, well 4 squared is 16 minus 12 plus 60 equals 8. Well, let's see. I know it's a little small. I'm sorry. 16 minus 12. Well, that's going to give us 4. Plus 60 is 64 equals 8. What is radical 64? Well, radical 64 is 8 equals 8. Here again, we get a true statement, so we know our solution, P equals 4, is correct.